being a light worker right now on our planet with everything that is happening might feel like a tough job to handle but it doesn't have to be this way as long as we're able to elevate our consciousness and are able to observe everything on a big picture as how we are part of the collective and how the collective is evolving we're able to bring a lot more awareness peace and acceptance to our daily life and understanding the big picture so in today's video i'm gonna share with you guys three the things you need to know as a light worker specifically when it comes to dealing with other people so that you don't have to kind of fake yourself put a mask on hold yourself back um, in order to fit in and still are able to shine your light and be the serve the mission why you came here if you are new to the channel welcome to spiritual selfish channel my name is christina day and thank you for being here thank you for resonating with with this frequency and i'm so grateful to have you here today so guys without further ado let's jump in so the thing number one you need to know as a light worker is that you will trigger the heck out of the people and I don't mean it in a bad way and the reason I'm bringing it as a step tip <laughs> thing number one is because I meet so many people who are you know friends clients just people who come and go in my life that they share with me that you know if there's an, an a situation and with which they don't fully agree or would like to share or express their opinion they hold themselves back out of the fear that other people might you know start a conflict with them or uh, be aggressive towards them but we have to understand that it's old way of being it's old way of conditioning that has been programmed into us that you know disagreement equals conflict no not at all right so we have to understand you expressing your opinion is safe right we just you know don't need to take personally if somebody is not able to digest or accept our our opinion it's our opinion right so i want you to know that you as a light worker you can trigger people by expressing your opinion you can trigger people by just saying nothing with your way of being because it doesn't fit into their reality but that is a good thing because you as a light worker as a soul mission as a mission soul as a heart-centered person who came here to shine light to uh, help elevate the consciousness of the whole freaking planet you are a rebel you are a change maker all right because if none of us would you know if all of us would agree on one thing be in one box how on earth will we evolve so we need heart centered rebels heart center of heart centered change makers so please do not be afraid to express your opinion when it in you know in, in a conscious way when it you know when you're able to provide a higher opinion uh, also remember guys higher does not mean better it, it's just you know higher way of seeing things so just know that you by being you you by sharing your opinion you will trigger people and just make peace of, with, with it so that you know all right you know this is a possibility that i will trigger people but that's actually a good thing because this gives them opportunity to evolve to see their triggers which uh, where the healing needs to be applied right so don't be afraid to trigger people and add it's actually part of why you came here what you came here to do to be a change maker thing number two that you must know as a light worker and by the way guys if you don't resonate or you're not sure if you are a light worker or not i have a separate video on five signs that you are a light worker so go check it out but the second thing that i feel is really important to know as a light worker is that everyone is playing their divine role and this 
I mean, we need to think about you, uh, how you play your role and the collective, right? So first of all, when we look at you, I want you to know that you are a crucial part of a puzzle, right? You are very, very important. So when you came here, you know, you're so incarnated to share your unique soul frequency, to share your wisdom, to share your soul codex that none of us have. So with this step, you know, everyone plays their divine role. I want you to know that if you do not allow yourself to express yourself fully, there's no one else who can fill those codes. So I want you to know how important it is and remind you how important it is for you to remember your soul, uh, to remember your soul and to step into your role, right? So don't try to do things just because you think you should. You look at other entrepreneurs online and you put yourself in another box. No, just allow yourself to express yourself in the way that feels good to you, right? Because your frequency, no one else can uh, make up <laughs> for that part where your frequency needs to go. And the second thing with the second um, point is that when we understand that each and every one of us plays our divine role, we also need to bring acceptance and not to, uh, in order not to push our opinion, you know, this is where a lot of spiritual ego kicks in. We need to be mindful about when we are pushing our opinion, when we're projecting our opinion onto other people. Because if somebody else does something else that is not in alignment with our values or is, is not in alignment with the you know timeline that we chose for ourselves it does not mean that they are wrong or they are doing something that sh shouldn't supposed to be <clears throat> it only means that they are also playing out their divine role maybe sometimes you know i know this triggers a lot of people but sometimes somebody needs to do bad things in order to learn or there are contributing somebody else's healing right some same thing when somebody have hurt you in the past often you will not have the breakthrough and realization if you would not experience that hurt right so I know it's a tough concept to wrap your head around but ultimately if we come to the unity consciousness we need to understand that everyone is playing divine role Right, so it is coming to the ex realization and acceptance and then compassion to each and every one's soul, no matter where on their on their journey they are. Right, so the thing number two you must know as a light worker is that everyone is playing their divine role, and the step number three that you not the step the thing number three you need to know as a light worker is that people will misunderstand you and this is something that I had to learn a lot and I, I see it times and times and times again but when people misunderstand you it does not mean that you're wrong and you know we need to kick out this vocabulary right or wrong dark or black yes we are living in you know polarity reality but that polarity reality persists only as long as we believe in that polarity reality as long as we look through the lens of polarity all right so what i mean by people misunderstanding you what i find in, including myself often what you know people who are very aware of the quantum world, spirit world, they will try to communicate all of this energetical quantum concepts to people who might not be on the same page, might not be aware of those things. And we communicate it from, you know, a very loving place, compassionate place, and people still take it the wrong way. Why it happens, right? You might feel oh my gosh, I didn't even say this, like, or where did you pull it from? And, you know, they might uh, think that you are living either in illusion or judge you or criticize you just because they did not fully 
understand the information that you're trying to communicate with them. And again, this is nothing bad, but I find that a lot of flight workers and heart-centered people might really take it to the heart and think that there's something wrong with them or they might feel you know not safe to express themselves because they're constantly misunderstood so instead of thinking that there's something wrong with you where we are able to <clears throat> bring higher awareness of what's actually happening and what's going on in the situation when people misunderstand us and we again can bring acceptance and, and awareness like it's all right. It's just part of the process. So when you're trying to communicate all of this, you know, let's say whatever you were trying to communicate, but kind of with a higher awareness concept. And when, and again, when I say higher, does not mean it's better or worse. It simply means higher. Let's say you are in a building, somebody is on a level one and you're on level five. It's higher level, not because it's better, but from a higher perspective, you're able to perceive more things versus from a ground level, you're only limited. You have a limited perception of what's in front of your nose. So it's the same with consciousness. When you are trying to communicate some big concepts to somebody whose consciousness is, you know, this, it doesn't mean, again, that they're worse than you or that you're better. It just me means they're not fully able yet to comprehend all of these huge concepts that your conscious consciousness is aware of. So when you are communicating to someone who is not on the same page, it is important to bring kindness, mindfulness, and also to stay compassionate to yourself that there's nothing wrong with you. This is These people are on their journey. And yes, because they have this limited perception of level one, let's say ground, ground level, they might take it the wrong way. You know, hear some words interpreted in their, you know, level based on their level of consciousness and then project something onto you telling you oh this does not exist oh you're living in illusion oh what kind of you know silly thing you're communicating again as a light worker it is really important to bring awareness to what's really going on that it's not about you it's not about the concept that, that you're sharing it's simply the person who is in front of you is not able to fully comprehend in their conscious mind what is the message what is the frequency that you are sharing with them i want to empower you and bring awareness that it's okay right you don't have to diminish your life you don't have to dumb yourself down just bring kindness and compassion to this present moment and understand well all right this is where this, that person is i still love and accept you and i'm grateful for the situation for shining light and uh, you know providing me opportunity to grow and and test my uh, skills of compassion and kindness uh, and love towards myself right so these are the three things that I feel is absolute must know for light workers when we go out there and we start stepping in into our you know role of a mission soul and shine our light is that we are aware of the limitations so to speak of other people of the collective that everyone is on their journey so that we do not internalize this and then criticize ourselves but we are bringing compassion and higher awareness uh, to the situations that are happening playing out in, in in our life and we continue to stay true to our soul true to our heart and we continue being who we truly are so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumb up and leave a comment i would love to hear from you and continue this conversation if you can relate to any of these right and if this frequency if this uh what i'm sharing resonates with you i would also love to invite you to become part of the leaders of like collective it's a monthly membership that we're having where we, each month we have our monthly uh healing calls monthly master classes or coaching calls also q a's where you're able to ask direct questions get direct support and there's a huge library of our previous calls and healings that you also will have access 
instantly too so i'm gonna leave the link for that down below for you as well but other than that guys thank you so much for tuning in and i'm wishing you a happy and a beautiful day bye if you'd like to become part of a conscious community to be supported on your spiritual journey shadow work soul remembrance stepping into your leadership come and join us at the leaders of light collective You'll receive monthly activations, workshops, Q&As, community, and so much more. For more details and to sign up, go to spiritualselfish.com forward slash leaders dash of dash light.